Welcome to the world of Python memory management. In this video, we will uncover the fundamental concepts of how Python manages memory, focusing on reference counting and garbage collection. Understanding these concepts is essential for writing efficient and robust Python code. Let's begin our journey to master Python's memory management techniques. Objects, references, and garbage collection are the core concepts of Python's memory management. Let's explore reference counting, the primary mechanism Python uses to manage memory. Each object in Python keeps track of the number of references pointing to it. This count increases whenever a new reference to the object is created and decreases when a reference is removed. When the reference count drops to zero, meaning no other objects or variables are using it, Python automatically frees the memory occupied by that object. Consider this example. First, a list containing the numbers 1, 2, and 3 is created and assigned to the variable a, increasing its reference count to 1. Next, the list is assigned to variable b, increasing the reference count to 2. When we delete a, the reference count is reduced to 1, but the list still exists in memory because b still references it. Once the function ends, b goes out of scope, and the reference count becomes 0, leading to the list's memory being freed. Reference counting has a limitation when it comes to circular references. Consider a scenario where two objects reference each other, creating a cycle. Even if these objects are no longer accessible from the rest of your code, their reference counts remain at one or higher due to the mutual referencing, which prevents them from being automatically freed, leading to memory leaks. For instance, in the code on the slide, objects A and B are created and each of them refers to each other. The count does not reach zero, causing memory leak. To address the challenge of circular references, Python incorporates a generational garbage collector. This process detects and collects cyclical references that reference counting alone cannot handle. Python's garbage collector organizes objects into generations. New objects start in the youngest generation called generation zero. If an object survives a garbage collection cycle, it is promoted to an older generation, such as generation one or two. These older generations are collected less frequently because they are assumed to contain objects that are likely to persist longer. Let's consider the code on the slide. We can access the garbage collector using the GC module. We can view collection counts for each generation and manually trigger garbage collection if needed. This generational approach optimizes the garbage collection process by focusing efforts on areas where objects are more likely to be garbage. Let's explore some best practices for writing memory-efficient Python code. Context managers which can be implemented using with statements ensure that resources such as files are properly released, even if exceptions occur. Explicitly deleting large objects when they are no longer needed can help free up memory, especially when dealing with substantial data sets. Be cautious of circular references in custom data structures and consider using the weak ref module for non-owning references to break reference cycles. A non-owning reference means the reference count is not increased. For example, the first code block on this slide automatically closes a file after reading its contents using with statement. Whereas, the second code block uses the weak ref module to create a weak reference, preventing the reference count from increasing and breaking potential cycles. In summary, Python combines reference counting with generational garbage collection to efficiently manage memory allocation and deallocation. Let's summarize the key takeaways from this explanation of Python memory management. Reference counting immediately frees the memory occupied by unused objects by tracking object references and freeing the memory when the count reaches zero. Garbage collection handles circular references that reference counting cannot resolve using a generational approach that can be controlled via the GC module. Explore further resources, such as Python documentation, real Python tutorials, and PyCon talks to deepen your knowledge of memory management in Python. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.